Hi, my name is Brittany, and on this month's Let's Discover, we're going to be using all that leftover Halloween candy and doing some candy chromatography. For this experiment, you're going to need an aluminum pie plate, some colored candy such as Skittles, M&M's, Reese's Pieces, a piece of a coffee filter, tape, pencil, something to drop some water, toothpicks or broken in half stir sticks, a tall glass or mason jar, and some salt. So to start off your experiment, you're gonna take your coffee filter and about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom of the coffee filter, you're gonna put three or four, maybe even five dots with your pencil, depending on how many pieces of candy you have. So you're just gonna put them on the coffee filter just like that, and this is gonna mark where you're gonna put your colored water. Then, however many pieces of candy you have, I have five here. I'm going to put five little puddles of water on my aluminum pie plate. You're going to put one candy in each puddle and let the color come off. Once your candies have set for a couple minutes and you see that the color has come off of them, you're going to take a separate toothpick or a piece of stir stick for each color. You're going to dip it in, grab some of that colored water, and you're going to dip it on your coffee filter right on the dot that you made. So that's the pink, blue, and we'll do okay. So after you have your colors on your dots, you're going to make your water solution. And to do that, you're going to put about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in your mason jar or your cup, and you're going to mix it with some water. Well, it's about maybe three quarters of an inch, an inch deep. And give it a little stir and the salt in the water just helps the colors to flow up the coffee filter a little easier. Then, you're gonna put your coffee filter in your glass so that the water line is just below the dots that you made. Doesn't have to be perfect. And if it'll stay by itself, that's great. If not, you might have to use a piece of your stir stick Put it across the top of your cup and just tape the coffee filter to it to keep it in place. And you can let that run for a couple minutes and when you take the coffee filter out you'll see how the colors in the dye have separated. Uh, the goal of this experiment is to see what colors actually make up red dye, what colors make up purple dye, what colors make up blue dye. And that's this month, let's discover. Use up that extra Halloween candy for a fun science experiment.